This is the laziest but most amazing bread maker I think you're ever gonna have. This is the Nervetva bread maker, and this makes two pound loaves of bread in this right here, which is absolutely fantastic. But honestly, the main thing about this is why I got it is it's completely hands-free. You put in your ingredients, into the main mixer, which I'll show you here in a second. You put it into the device and then you hit start and you're ready to go. So let's quickly look at all the features that this thing offers. The nice thing about this bread maker, it makes 20 different types of bread and other items from basic bread, quick bread, French bread, gluten-free bread, just cake, dessert. You can even just knead dough if you wanna put your own recipes in there. I love it for pizza dough as well, jam, yogurt, and just overall, the, all the different versatility it has. Now over here, it's a super simple design of a couple buttons. It's has two different loaf sizes, which is 750 grams. To the weight over here, you can put it 900 grams, which is the two pound loaf. And now also you have the color, the little toast icon right there. That's a different, that's a different colors of bread that you have, like how baked the bread will be. Then you have your measurements wheel over here where you can adjust all that kind of stuff and go through what baking cycle you want to do. So if I wanted to do, let's say cornbread, I would cycle over to seven, I would, choose what weight of how big the loaf I want. And then also you could choose the color, like how baked it is as well, which is really nice. The really nice thing as well is it includes a manual of how to make all those different dishes in here and explains obviously the basic instructions of how to use the device. It has breakdown of all the ingredients and how much you wanna put in for each loaf type. This is for the basic bread, but the whole manual has lots of different choices in here for all the different options on the screen down here, and even tells you the order to put it in the actual unit itself. So it's very simple to use, which is absolutely fantastic for, especially for beginners or even professionals in making bread. And now you have a start stop button at the bottom here, and that is as simple as it gets when you put all your ingredients in there. You just hit start and you're good to go. First of all, you have the bread bowl itself. This goes up to two pounds, like I said. Then you'll also have a kneading paddle that gives you two in the box actually, which is really nice. But there's a correct way to put this on and it's the larger side goes down onto this metal piece down there. And you'll kind of just gently just push it down onto it like that. And you'll see it has the angled piece going down in the wider position on the bottom there. And that is so the bread machine can move it around. And they do give you an extra piece as well, which is really nice. So if one breaks or something happens, you have an extra one. They also make this super lazy and easy because they have measuring cups for your dry and also your water. So if you are scooping out flour, you have different measuring cups here as well, which is really nice if you don't have it in your house. They also have this to help you get at the kneading paddle at the end of baking. And it even comes with a baking glove if you don't have one as well to protect yourself when you're pulling out the loaf. They also have a nice metal handle on the device itself for opening it up. And to put this in to start your loaf, you are just gonna place this down and rotate the device until it locks into place. And it will rotate to the right to lock in. The only thing I found negative about this is this is gonna get really hot and this metal piece at the top, the handle does feel a little flimsy. And if you're rotating it to like unlatch it, you can see how it kind of bends. It's not bad, it hasn't broken for me, but it's just something to keep in mind with. Sometimes I even just reach down and just do it right down here instead, if even with gloves on just to make it easier because this is a little more flimsy stainless steel. I wish the piece was a little bigger, but Again, this is a cheaper device and a much more affordable, I think, than a lot of very expensive bread makers in the market. So I definitely recommend it just for, for that factor alone for the price range it's at. So let's make some bread. We're gonna go through the basic recipe number two. I will put on the screen the full recipe of it so it's easy for you to follow along going through the actual process. You're literally just gonna add everything into the actual unit here, into the bread bowl, and you're gonna hit start. So. So there's two different recipes on each page for 750 gram and 900 gram. So we're gonna do the 900 gram, the two pound loaf. And also and very important when you're making bread, it gives you a nice diagram down here. You wanna do your wet to your more dry substances like and yeast last, just to keep that in mind when you're making your bread. So first we add in the water, 230 milliliters. All right, one egg, three tablespoons of butter. All right, three and a half tablespoons of sugar, and then three and a half cups of flour, and then one and one third teaspoon of yeast on the top. And that's it, that's as simple as it gets. You just put everything in, follow the recipe, depending on what size you want. And now we're trying to do quick bread number two. So we're just gonna move this over to number two, and we are doing 
a weight of 900, so you want to switch that over. It does normally go always on to 750, so you have to remember to change that. And then we are not going to change the color. We're just going to hit start down here, and we are ready to go. You'll see it start moving down here and start moving and mixing the materials around together. I will, so this recipe will take about three hours. So I'll check during the recipe to show you a little bit of the process through the top window and then show you the final result at the end. Also something to note is they have a table here to tell you all the different resting periods and stirring periods for each recipe so you know what cycle your bread is in right now. So at the beginning you'll see it rests for bread number two and then it starts stirring, but basically it works your way all the way through the cycles here, and each one has a different cycle that it works through. So this is a great way to see what current stage your bread is in, and also just to get a good idea of what each recipe does and the different mixing and different cooking styles it has. You also can quickly check on the panel right here. This is in stirring motion, but these will move along here depending on what section it is. And you can get a good idea right here on this example of what that looks like depending on what stage it's in. It gives you a little icon so you can see currently how your bread is doing. You can see the stage it's on as well. So you can now see it's in the last stage baking and it's 42 minutes left. And you can see how much it's risen already up almost to the glass now, which is really nice. You have a live tracking here to see how far it's gone. All right, you'll get a beeping sound when the bread is done and the timer will be at zero here. And my bread is complete after about two and a half hours. It will be a little hot, so I suggest using a glove and you can just open it up and this will be very hot. Look how good that looks. There's a handle here. So if you can't reach that, you can even use the metal piece to kind of bring it up before grabbing it. So you have to pull up, twist left or right, and then pull out your loaf. And this is gonna be very hot, so then you can dump it out onto another surface to let it rest. The actual container is very non-stick, so it's very easy to slide out the loaf, as you can see. And you can see how little the cleaning takes as well, as it doesn't really leave a lot of residue in there as well. So you can wash this after it cools down. And I'm just gonna put that back in for now. We're gonna let it rest for like 10 minutes and then we are gonna cut it open. But look how fantastic this loaf looks. And it was a minimal effort along the way. So I definitely recommend it for that. Let's open up this loaf and see what it looks like. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. We let it rest a little bit, but I'm gonna slice this open and see what it looks like. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Still a little moist in the middle. So not super dry from looking at it, which is really nice. And overall has some nice quality. This is from the blade at the bottom that was mixing it. So you do have that little indent at the bottom to keep in mind, but absolutely fantastic loaf. It smells fantastic. I mean, it's a very cheap, easy loaf of bread that's easy to do, just putting all the ingredients in. So I've definitely been loving this machine, especially for the price it comes at compared to other bread machines. The only downsides I found is the handle here being a little more flimsy than I would like and the noise while mixing, at least that first like 30 minute stage of it mix. I'll put an example in here so you can see what it sounds like. But that noise is a little louder than I would like it to be. But honestly, after it gets to that mixing phase, it's rising and then in the baking phase for the rest of the time. So you don't hear anything. So overall, definitely recommend it. They have a lot of good color variations of this device as well. And it's a very affordable price. So definitely recommend it. Check it out.